going on y'all back here again and today I'm about to start on a project about to finally try to change out my radiator but first we have to take the fan cover off I guess we gotta come off first for sure of course because you see the radiator is behind there so that's what I'm about to do first. And if y'all know, I got the Sandy One Beard Riviera. But I've been having since I got it, you know, been overheating. Overheating. Had to change out my reservoir. I got another one in there, a newer one. But I've been overheating for a while. So I know I need the radar because I already, uh, yeah, big 455. You see it. Big 455. But yeah. Like I was saying, it was overheating. You know, man, I could drive a little bit. Be like you could hear it bubble bubbling in the red air in, in the reservoir. So, you know, first thing we overheat, check what? What you gonna check? The radiator first? Or what? But nah. I, uh, it was a thermostat. I checked the thermostat. The thermostat was sticking. So I replaced the thermostat. It, that, that didn't stop it. You know what I mean? And my reservoir was old. So I got a new one. Like from, from Vance Auto. It just hold me down until then. But it's kind of small like you see. So I got like a metal canister now. That as soon as I take out this radiator. The old radiator. And put the new one in. I'm going to put my other reservoir in there. So first, like I said, I gotta take this casing off of the um, fan. So that's what I'm doing first. Uh, and on my two different size boats. So I think this one right here is a, uh, what's all I got? A three eighths. Let's see. Little. The last set. Huh. Oh, might be going the wrong way. Yeah, y'all know I'm not the mechanic at all, but I got me a new radiator coming in finally, so I'm going to attempt to change myself. I got mother homeboy about to come over here in a minute and uh, help me try to finally take off the studs. On my 1990 Acura Integra, you see it, you see it right there. Yeah, I got changed it. I only got one stud on there, so I got to change that out in a minute. Well, try to. We was having problems getting back on a uh, hub off, so I'm waiting on him to get here. I'm just tightening it up, but until then, I'm trying to start taking this off. So I see y'all in a minute. All right. About got it off. Okay. One side off. One side off. And I guess I just pull it like that. Uh oh. Hold on. Let me see y'all down. Right in there, real quick. Let's see if I can take it off. Around the fan. Okay. Uh, well, actually, I guess I don't have to take it all. The, oh, take it all the way out. All right. And next, next, I guess we gotta come off right here and right here. Now, I guess I gotta take these these bolts off right here. This one, one there. I got one here, one here, one there. I guess. Hey, do I gotta take all these out? I probably do. 
I probably do. And I know I still gotta unhook them hoses down there, I know. Unhook that hose. Of course that hose too. But for all that I need to figure out how I'm gonna take this off. So let's see. Let's see if if I got something right for it. Right side. Oh, that might be it right there. And this is a a half an inch. Can y'all see that? Hold on. Uh-uh. Y'all can't see that. Yeah, go. Hold on. There you go. A half an inch. I think that's it. Let's see. Let's see. Cross our fingers on our toes, guys. Go for this one right here. Yeah, hopefully it'll be here like tomorrow or something. Alright. So, just remember where that goes. Ooh, a uh, harness nest. Look at that hornet's nest, or whatever it is. Hold on now. <clears throat> Look, hold on. Now, why, why look like it's two radiators in here? I don't, I'm just tripping. Well, I know this is, this the, this what I bought, this the radiator, but. Huh, maybe I gotta clean those. I'm waiting for my man to come out here too. Let him, my man, let him tell me. But I know I need to unhook the radiator. So yeah, this is where we at now. This is what we looking like. Come ready to drive it for real. And some stuff I need to get fixed down here too. Like I want to change out all my wires. Change out all the wires. Well, you know. Well, really, they don't need to get changed. But something. I know. I, yeah, something got to get changed. I know. I don't know exactly what. But I need something done. And right here. Look at this right here. I know I got to fix this. I don't even know what this is called. But I know it's like the steering. Something for the steering, though. Steering column or something. Whatever that is, I got to get that fixed. 
the power steering. But yeah, man, this is it. 71, good Riviera, boat tail. About to get it fixed hopefully soon. So yeah. So let me start unhooking that hose, these hoses, that right there. I'll give it y'all in a minute. Okay, we back, we back, we back. All right, oh yeah, I'll probably get the flathead screwdriver. Sorry about that. Somebody was trying to call me. All right. Yeah, we didn't have my video camera, but it was acting up, so we calling off the phone for now. All right, loosen that up soon. Nope, no, no. There should be no water nowhere in here. Change these hoses out too. Know what I see. Main thing is radiator. Oh, I see some water coming out. more than there I lied they pissed on me nah all right that's weird though it was overheating though but it wasn't the water I ain't figured in the water in there but it was well it's still overheating though. I don't care what you say it supposed to be water in there anyway all right now this top hose Let's take out this top. This top hose right here. Ooh. Okay. That thing don't want to come off. Now let's go get some of that spray. Right back. Right, trust the old blaster.
Put it on there a little bit, let it sit for a little while. Then I come back and try to get it off. Woo! But yeah, the radiator, right this is the coil right here though. This is the main thing. Oh, okay. I gotta take that off, so I got one, two. Oh, they gotta come out. One, two. Two more little small hoses. They won't be stubborn. There you go. Guess it works. Blaster really works. Okay. Now why the hell do I want to come off this easy? Which one is that? Uh, okay. Alright. Got the top holes off. He tried to fight a little bit, but it finally came off. So, I got the top hose off. And I got the bottom hose off. But now, I have to get... Well, let's take that little one off. That little skinny one. I don't even know where that's going to, but... This one right here. And the one to the reservoir. So, this one... This one, oh, and this one down here too. Dang. So, one, two, and this one. I'm crying. Guess I'll take it out. This one, I guess. Yeah. And that one. And this one off. The front one, yeah. So yeah, I'm about to try to do that and see what's going to happen. This little thing here. Got that one disconnected finally. So now, I'm gonna go for this bottom one. It's gonna be easy as the first one. So, this one I have to take it off. Hmm. Is it here? It gotta be that one. This is, um, this comes from the car, so. Maybe that here, yeah. So let's see. All right, we got it off. So everything's detached. Make sure I take me a picture so I know how it goes. Nah, I'm serious though. I am. Okay. So last one is from the reservoir. Man, that's pretty much. It pretty much could come out. So yeah, there we go. One more hose to go. Y'all look, the easiest hose should be, it's the hardest one for me to get off, look. <laughs> Ain't that something? But I know I'm gonna get here in a minute, but I just wanna let y'all see, like the easiest one, this should be the easiest. It gives me the hardest time. Hardest, the easiest one, give me the most hardest. Uh, crazy. Then you gotta come off now. Oh my 
okay? Let's see for my life now. Taking out the 1971 Riviera radiator. <clears throat> it's pissing down there. So there we go. Oh, it's still pissing. Look at this thing. Y'all tell me. See how bad it was. Well, I don't know. But yeah, I'm changing it. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, that thing's bad. Oh. But yeah, there we go. Taking out the boat tail radiator. <clears throat> I'm gonna sit back in there for now. Until, like I said, the oven come in. <clears throat> but now I already got it off. So, one step to getting the radiator done. Oh man. And while I got it out, I need to go ahead and change all these. Belts look like too. I mean, they're not, they're not bad. Yeah, they look like they're not bad. What's going on, y'all? Yeah. The 1971 Buick Riviera. I'm just out here just about to change my radiator. But I was looking while I already had it out, getting it out. I'm just looking down here. I said, should I go ahead and change out them belts? Maybe, maybe not. Not really. They really not that bad though. I don't think so. But yeah, finally got the radiator out. It should be here like tomorrow or so. So hopefully it will run. Now I can finally take this old aftermarket overflow. But yeah. Y'all think if this is a car y'all y'all ever like back in the day or now. That's what it's still pissing. Yep, old boat tail, Sandy One Buick Riviera. Finally about to change out the radiator, so I can get ready to drive it again. Woo! Then uh, got the uh original little dash. The dash is original steel. You can tell it got some cracks in it too. Vintage. They can't see it. Well, there you go. Got some cracks in it. White leather seats. White doors. You know. You know. It's my little project car. So yeah. There we have it. This is what it looks like. Sandy One Buick Riviera. Buick Riviera, Riviera, Sandy One, Sandy One. <laughs> but yeah, man, I've been ready to drive it. Look at all this play I got in the stand wheel. I know that's it's from that little piece I was showing y'all on my last video. The steering column or something. 
But yeah. Mike doors. Trying to get up and running, get it cleaned up. Get it painted. Get everything done. But I'm gonna start from the outside in. Let me start on the engine first. So yeah. Starting under here first. Changing out the radiator. Changing out the radiator. Then what's next? Probably it'll probably be the what the carburetor the carburetor probably the next thing oh what am I yeah the carburetor change that I said change that kit steering column something right there see it's all cracked up uh, whatever, how you, yeah. Can y'all see? Oh, what is that? Yeah, right there. So, yeah, finally got this old radiator out. 